I, I give up. I, I, I'm not kidding. I give up. I, I will never make another Alabama trash talk video on this channel ever again until we finally beat these people. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I cannot figure this out. Uh, Idiot Georgia fans spent all year saying, oh, J oh, Justin Fields will come into the second half, beat Alabama this year, which was, which, you know, I'm not even getting into that. The pineapple goes down, and Alabama sends Hurts in to beat us this time. Two years in a row, we absolutely whip Alabama for two quarters, two and a half quarters, three quarters, whatever it was. It, 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 they send a backup quarterback in and absolutely humiliate us. I'm done. I'm done with it. Uh, the football gods obviously hate me, hate Georgia, hate Athens, hate the state of Georgia, hate red and black, hate the G logo, hate Harry Dog, hate Ugga, hate Larry Munson, hate Vince Dooley. Uh, did I mention that? They hate me too. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a complete loss, uh, for, uh, for words. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I don't have anything to be mad at Georgia about. Georgia played a good game. Alabama played a little bit better. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm devastated here. I, I don't know what else we can do uh, to beat Alabama, but uh, I mean, I, I, we're just not going to beat them. Uh, I, I mean, just let Nick Saban retire. I, I give, I seriously give up. Uh, I mean, I'll stay on the other teams because we beat, we managed to beat the other teams every once in a while. I'm done with the Alabama. I'm done. I, I, I don't know what else I can do. I really don't. On top of that, the damn TV went out in the second half of the game. CBS only. Every other channel working fine. CBS goes out. And my whole name, I don't know if it affected any of y'all. I have Dish Network. Uh, the people down the street have cable. Their CBS was out. Uh, the neighbor lady across the street, what told me to shut the hell up that one time when I was in here yelling, she came over here and asked me about it. She's got, uh, direct TV. So the other satellite, it was CBS was out on it. So I, I, I mean, lucky for me though, CBS did manage to come right back on when Alabama scored the tying touchdown. So that was great. Then I had to watch Jalen friggin' Hurts run a touchdown in to beat us. I literally don't know what to do or say anymore at this point. I had this friggin' pineapple uh, ready to go for some kind of victory celebration, and uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening now. Uh, the TV goes out in the fourth quarter. Georgia blows another lead. I got to listen to this crap for an entire year again, you know, uh, from a bunch of fans of teams who can't beat Georgia. I've got to listen to them go on and on and on for another damn year about how Georgia can't win the big one. Georgia can't beat Bama. Georgia can't get it done. Georgia blew a lead. I got to hear all that again. I, I, I literally don't, uh, I mean, I, I really don't know what to be mad about. Hot Rod missed the field goal. Well, Hot Rod's the best player on our team. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't for Hot Rod, wouldn't be where we're at. It's hard to be mad at him. And it's not like we lost by three. A field goal would have done us no good. Uh, three points does us no good at the end. We're still down by four uh, and, and need a touchdown there at the end to win. Uh, the fake punt, <laughs> you want me to get mad about something? That fake punt was the dumbest damn thing I've ever seen in the history of football. I've been, I've been around 40 damn years. Uh, I thought the fake field goal against LSU was bad, which it was. This was the worst damn thing I've ever seen. Fourth and 12 for midfield, game on the line. Alabama's playing a backup quarterback who can't complete passes. Uh, we proved that last year. And uh, instead of punting the ball and pinning Bama back deep and forcing them to go 80 or 90 yards to try to win the game, you run Justin Fields. Was it Justin Fields? The announcer said they couldn't tell if it was Justin Fields or uh, Brenton Cotter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who ran it. The point is, fourth and 12, you run a sweep. And, and then he doesn't even run a sweep. He runs it up the middle. And, and to make matters worse, Alabama wasn't even uh, – they, they didn't even have their punt return team out there. It was their regular defense. But that was just the worst damn uh, – can, uh, can we get Shane Beamer back, please, what we had last year as special teams coach? Somehow we let him go, and now the special teams are terrible. I, I mean, listen, there's no one reason we lost this game. Alabama beat us fair and square. 
I mean, I tried to troll a little bit at halftime about the Alabama guy who recovered his own fumble in the end zone. But, I mean, that, that was a close call. It could have been called either way. So let's be real. I blame the refs on that. Alabama was the better team, uh, period. And they beat us. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. It wasn't a blowout. I know that. Georgia is, a, and Georgia's a good team. Georgia's one of the best four teams in America, period. They won't get into the playoffs, and I honestly don't think they deserve to. I don't think you should get into the playoffs if you lose your conference championship game. I've been saying that for years, and I'm not going to change my mind now just because Georgia lost a conference championship game. I, so, and they're not going to get in. Oklahoma won. Ohio State will most likely win tonight, too. Uh, Clemson's winning. Uh, Notre Dame. I'm going to get started on that. But anyway, so, you know, some of these people, I, yeah, so, yeah, oh, but it's the best four teams. Yeah, I think Georgia's one of the best four teams, but I, they're just not going to get in. So just, you know, well, it, it is what it is. I, 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 I'm on here to make a video because that's what I do. I don't run and hide uh, like some of these other idiots uh, who try to have YouTube channels. I show up here win or lose. And listen, Alabama beat us. I'm, I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken. Um I have no voice. I'm I'm drained emotionally, physically. I um, hurt myself out here jumping around. My ankle swole up. Look, it looks like a damn grapefruit. I don't know what to say. Congratulations to Alabama. Congratulations to Alabama fans. Um, and I hope you guys go on and win the national title. I'm an SEC homer, so you know I, I'll be pulling for you over. Oklahoma, I guess, if that's who you end up playing, or, or Ohio State, whoever you end up playing in round one, it'll either be Oklahoma or Ohio State. I, I you know, so I'll be, I'll pull for you guys in that one, and then you'll play Clemson in the Natty game because Notre Dame is terrible. I mean, they'll make the playoff, but they're going to get boat raid. Doesn't matter who they play. But so again, hats. I, I, I really don't know what else to say. I, I'm only on here because if I if I didn't come on here, uh, you know, you, you know the comments would come. But I show up here win or lose. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I've made a post-game video after every single Georgia win and every single Georgia loss since 2014. I'm not going anywhere now just because we lost another heartbreaking game uh, to Alabama. I love my Georgia Bulldogs. I love college football. Uh, but this one hurts. Uh, to, to lose this one really in the exact oh, – well, almost the exact same way that we lost the last one last year, um, you know, dominating the first half of the game, Alabama bringing in a, a second-string quarterback uh, and, and losing is just uh, – I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do or say. But like I said, there's nothing really to blame this one on in terms of – cheating or referees. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't been on any of the Georgia pages yet or anything. I don't do that during the game. I just watch the game. So I don't know what other G Georgia fans are doing or saying, but Uncle Lou's here to tell you that Alabama was the better team today. They won the game. Hats off. Like I said, congratulations to Bama and their fans. Uh, I hope the pineapple is okay. I had a lot of fun with the pineapple this season. Uh, he's a hell of a quarterback. I hope he's okay. Uh, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't waste time talking about him if he wasn't any good. So, uh, I, I, you know, I hope he's okay. He's got knee issues. It's been lingering all year. Had an ankle issue early in this game, and he got stepped on. I think it was his other ankle. He got stepped on by his own offensive lineman, and that's when they had to take him out. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, he had his helmet on there at the end, but I think we all knew he wasn't coming back in. But you got 35 days, 36 days, whatever it is, to rest him up. I mean, you know, I, I hope he gets okay for the playoffs or whatever. Well, no, playoffs are December 28th, so you got four weeks to rest him up. So, I mean, I, I hope he's okay. But anyway, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, but but that's the best I can do on eating crow for you guys. I mean, I'm, I, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Unbelievable that this game ended up the, like it did. I think I would have rather got blown out. I just be honest with you. I'd rather this game would have been forty-two to nothing at halftime, and I wouldn't have had to spend four hours thinking Georgia was going to win this game just to be let down again. So, 
again, you know, Alabama fans, y'all are the better team. Y'all won. Congratulations. Go win another title. Uh, now, but now to the rest of the fans, though, Tennessee, Florida, whatever, South Carolina, Barners, whoever else, <laughs> don't try to hop on to Bama nuts. Georgia beat the hell out of you, and they're going to do it again next year. So, all right, Bama, good game, and uh, we'll see you next December.